Hey folks, nice to see ya. I'm Dustin Cormier, this is How to Rock Astrology, continuing our reading of Light on Life. Uh, this last episode of, well, this is a bit of a concluding episode in terms of how we're defining planetary strengths uh, it, from based on signs. Uh, and this is just a quick little description of, essentially, the strength or dignity of, the, of a planet in its sign. Plants display the following relative amounts of their potential strengths. An exalted planet yields 87.5 to 100% of its, of its strength, and that's just pure strength, not necessarily beneficness. A planet with trinal strength or Mula Tricona strength is the next down. Although Mula Tricona does also imply beneficness, strength, uh, goodness as well as strength. That's why it's important to consider that Mercury in Virgo is a very powerful placement because it's exalt. Well, right, I guess exaltation and Mula Tricona is different positions. So, in any case, uh, if a planet like Mercury is in Virgo. You have to look specifically to whether it's exalted or whether it's in its Mula Tricona. Uh, same goes with the moon, for whom Taurus is the exaltation and the Mula Tricona. A planet in its own positive constellation, that's an air or fire constellation. For example, for Saturn, that's Aquarius. For Venus, that's Libra. For Mars, that's Aries. For the sun, that's Leo. For the moon, that's Cancer. Tech, uh, yeah, yeah, technically. Um, for Gem from Mercury, that's Gemini, so forth. A planet in its own negative constellation is just one step down. So this would be like uh, Mars in Scorpio, Saturn in Capricorn, S Venus in Taurus, Mercury in Virgo, uh, in the latter parts of Virgo etc. Now, a planet in the constellation of a friend is the next step below. That would be, for example, Venus in the sign of Capricorn or Aquarius or Gemini or Virgo. Plan signs ruled by Mer Saturn and Mercury. This would be, you know, Mars in the sign of Sagittarius or Pisces. Signs of its friend Jupiter, or Mars in Leo, or Mars in Cancer. Uh, well, actually, Mars in Cancer is debilitated, but you have to look to the debilitation degree to see if it's actually debilitated. Planet in the constellation of, the en of an enemy is little to no strength, almost none. <laughs> this is, a, for example, if the sun is in the sign of Libra, or Taurus, or Capricorn, or Aquarius, if the moon is in the sign of, um, the moon has no enemies, actually, thankfully. Uh, or this is Jupiter in the sign of Virgo or Gemini or Libra or Taurus. Then that planet will not, will do basically next to no strength. And then the debilitated planets have 0 to 12.5. So, you know, this is a description of the planet's in by planetary strength and dignity by sun by their sign by the sign that they're in uh so that was sort of a cap on everything we've learned so far in terms of planet strength in the sign now in the next episode we're going to be talking a little bit about planetary states which has to do with the prosperity of a planet as the ambassador of a house of the lord of a house so I'm Dustin Cormier for How to Rock Astrology. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks for watching this little quickie.